This is the GoPro harness for dogs. Follow me as I take it out to the river and do a field test to show you exactly how it works. And Mike here. I'm doing a dog test, chesty dog test on the GoPro. So come here, Tyson. Tyson, come here. Come here. Here's my willing participant. And it's fairly easy to put on. You just put the, hey, well, if they sit up, it's easier to put on. Come on, come on, pop, pop, pop. Come on, pop, pop, pop. Go. So the first part goes over the head, like so. And then you got the one arm strap that goes here. Like so. And then the same one on the other side. Get another arm strap that goes under the arm, I should say. Like that, and then you got one. Oops, I think I did the wrong one. All right, there we go. And then you got the one belly, belly strap. Just like that. And voila, got your GoPro chesty. Now here's what the footage looks like. Okay, so the first test will be on the chest in the water, and then I'll do it on the back. There's two mounts that you can use on the GoPro Chesty. As you can see, the chest mount sits a bit low and tends to shake. It's not a bad angle if you're going to use quick clips that are roughly one to three second cuts. I tend to like this view much better. As you can tell, the footage is more steady and you have the dog's head in the shot as well. The only drawback is the camera tends to slip to one side or the other if they are running around a lot. But overall, I really like this point of view and it should make for some fun shots in the future. I would recommend the GoPro harness for anyone with a dog wanting to get unique footage from their pooch's point of view. Now we'll walk through, we'll walk through the course a little bit. Let's go, let's go, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Okay, let's go, squirrel. See the squirrel? 